Welcome guys to another tutorial. Throwing shuttles and multi-shuttle feeding is really, really important if you want to do technical training, but especially if you want to um, improve your precision with throwing and feeding and also your uh, frequency. If you want to feed really fast, that can be a little bit tricky. So in this video, I want to give you um, some advice and some tips how you can improve that precision and frequency with your feeding. So first of all, you just put the roll on your long arm and it's lying in between your arm and your body. Don't go out here, then it can easily happen that the, um, the shuttles fall out. So keep them close to your body and also really important, keep your arm um, quite stretched. So now if I hold the shuttles like this and I pull one out, the other ones um, glide down automatically and I don't have to readjust my roll again. If I hold it like this, so with the arm like this, then the shuttles will not glide down um, at this point here and you have to readjust them so keep your arm quite stretched. You can throw the shuttles from down here, from up here, always depending on um, what situation you want to create in the technical training. Um, that's quite easy if there's not so much tempo in it but it can get tricky if you want to throw with a high frequency for example if you make uh, training for double defense and you want to throw the shuttles really fast and if you want to do that um, try this technique here. You always grab the shuttle with the thumb and middle finger and index finger and you just stretch out the arm and there you have a very small movement and you cr can create a really high tempo for the worker. So let's see how we do double defense here. It gets even a little bit more difficult if you want to feed now with the racket. So if you want to play maybe full court or also feed with speed. And the main mistake that I see most of the times is that people pull out the shuttle and then throw it up. And now you see the shuttle is tumbling and it's really hard to um, hit it with precision. So my first tip here, try to pull it out with more speed. And then you can see now the shuttle is flying really stable so it's not turning in the air so it's a lot easier to hit it always at the same spot and you get more precision and the second advantage here um, you can play it a lot faster so if you do it with one movement I pull out and hit the shuttle um, then I can also play here with a higher frequency than if I always throw it up and hit it and it's also a lot more precise. Again, also important here, if you're feeding with the racket, keep the arm almost stretched out and close to the body so the shuttles or the roll of shuttle is lying here in between your arm and your body. If you want to feed up here, then it's also really important that you pull out the shuttle with a lot of speed so it's not turning here in the air. Then you will have a lot of hits where you hit the feathers, where you have no control. So hit it out fast and then you can also like here, the same, hit it always in the same spot so the shuttle um, is pointing upwards and then you have a really good position to hit it with power and also if you want to increase speed, you can do it also up here. If you get really good at the feeding technique, the next step is also to put in some movement by yourself and also get the right rhythm for the player working on the other side, for example. So here you can see that I always move slightly towards the side where I'm playing to and also try to get the exact rhythm. So when the shuttle arrives at my side, I play the next one. So to get it as realistic as possible, but therefore you have to get as good so you don't have to focus on your feeding technique anymore. You can just do it and without looking there and just focus on the player on the other side. Ok, 
Okay, so much for feeding and throwing shuttles. Um, I hope this video helped you. Um, if you liked it, it would be super cool if you give a thumb up and also subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.